want to talk really fast on this one because I've been uh, we've been to a lot of seminars and, and lately, and I've talked about this to various groups throughout Douglas County. And uh, right now, it's one of the biggest problems we face, along with prescription pills. Um, Charles is right. You know, they do change the ingredient. We do have a statute on, on record, though, that's, that says that it's illegal to ingest and consume uh, intoxicating uh, drugs, such as the K2, things of that nature. However, you're going to have to prove that they used it. And you're going to have to prove it's illegal nature to use that. So it, it is very complicated. It's, it's been hard to keep up with uh, the laws on this because it seems like they've been changing so much. Um, we deal with this on a daily basis. Bath salts, K2, it's one of the most uh, dangerous drugs that I've seen in a long time. Well, ever, I'm going to say ever, because for years we thought meth was our problem, and meth is right here, this stuff's up here. When they get high, they're up here. Ten hours afterwards, they're still higher than they were on meth. They have the, hallucin the hallucinations with it. When we hear on TV about people eating faces, uh, we had one this last week I, I seen this morning where somebody actually ate their dog because they were on bath salts. They hallucinate. They're very dangerous for us. Uh, we fight people in our jail that weigh 160 pounds, and it takes three, four, five officers my size to deal with these people. It's a major, major problem that we deal with in Douglas County, along with the prescription bills. I want to jump off of that and go back to a question that you got that you asked the judge about motivation. Today, we've seen a young girl that went through our court system that ended up going to a teen challenge program, and I got to sit down and visit with her and her family. And you know what? That's that's what motivates me is to see this girl get help. What motivates me is to be able to help the people in the community. What motivates me is to be able to solve the homicides and go to the families and put some closure to these families and not have these unsolved homicides in Douglas County. That's what motivates me. What motivates me is helping our children and helping the people in our community. Thank you.